notice that Mark is not filming very many people, and I know Mark likes, if you want to be filmed, to ask him. And as we've got some new people within the group, I have found it so beneficial to be filmed mm. and to watch it afterwards. And what I find is that it, I never look as bad as what I feel when I'm up here. So if you're considering it, please go and have a chat to Mark and I'm sure he'll be happy to continue with that. For the table topics today, are you happy to do a table topics? Is this your first time at Toastmasters? It is, yes. Okay. I might leave you two guys because I know Sookwinder, it's um, Sookwinder's first time as well. So maybe you can look and see what happens in table topics. But we usually come up with some sort of silly questions and people it's in you speaking so you just jump up and give a response to, to a, a silly question that I'm going to proceed with now. So when I was asked to do table topics I thought oh what will I do and I thought I'll have a look through the newspaper and see if there's some sort of theme that I can use for table topics. And you think the paper would be full of sex, politics, religion, all those banned topics from polite dinner conversations. And of course they're there, but what I saw was overridingly, it's about money. Even in the sports pages, oh Seth Blatter, Daily Cherry Evans, it's money, every single bit of it. So one of the stories was about Raphael Nadal. A Swiss company has made this whiz bang watch for him. Costs a million dollars for a watch. It can withstand great velocities and forces. And it's very light, it's about 19 grams. And he said, it's like it's a part of my skin. And I thought, why would you need to look at the time when you're out playing tennis? But overridingly, it, it was. <laughs> what better way could you spend a million dollars? Robert. Please welcome Robert. Thank you has been buying and selling property all over that area, Blakehurst waterfront properties, and then going in and rezoning them, selling them to his family, and then making a mozza. So if you were in public life, what cause would you promote? Matt, please welcome Matt. <laughs> we have all heard about the scandals in FIFA. Seth Blatter and all the money we spent, $45 million apparently for the vote, the one vote that we got. And Qatar won, of course. Qatar, apparently, I've heard in the newspaper, is 290,000 people, but there's a population of about 4 million that service those people. Apparently, hundreds of people have died building the stadiums. And they're saying it's like a form of slavery. Do we really have slavery in modern, the modern world today? Neil. Did you see the article about man spreading? Two men in London got fined on public transport for man spreading. So this is a habit some men, not all, have of just having their legs just a little bit too wide apart. What behaviour would you make a punishable offence on public public transport? Kieran, please welcome. I was silly enough to jump up here first up and not ask how many um, topics we were going to do today. So Joyce, how am I going for time? Is there time for uh, more? Or? Yeah, yeah, we're just about eight that. minutes, which is the green light. So how we go for time? Minutes. So have I got two more topics four, or finish? Got four minutes. Okay, so a couple of more topics? Yes. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Ah, Tony Abbott. <laughs> He's quite happy with the modest house price increases that we have seen. Does Tony need to go back and look at the definition of modest in his dictionary? Mark. Please welcome Mark. Yeah. What's in the paper was about private schools. So in the eastern suburbs, we've got all the Kambalas, Knox, Grammar, there's hundreds of them at seems. And someone has developed a software package called Potential, which allows them to track all sorts of transactions they make, how much community service they do for the school, what their donations are, and their ability to give donations. So then they can pinpoint 
Matt's the guy, he's the one we're going to see. He's going to give us $10,000 easy. So what sort of software would you develop and who would you track and for what reason? Mark. Please welcome Mark. <laughs> That's what happens with me, I kind of go, and then it all happen. happens, you know what I mean? The yeah. flow of the flow of my tiny voice, so something to improve on, so. That's a benefit of it, isn't it? To yeah. get up and speak, and it's just by doing it over and over and over again that you get better at it. Yeah, it's definitely. Practice, yeah. Excellent, well, thank you very much, Mark. Well, now, hand back over to Karen. Please welcome Karen. <laughs>